starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Your driver's license, please. Any other identification? State deputy. Thank you. You can move on. Hi, mister. Hi, Sonny. What happened? Looking for a man. A bank robber. A bank robber? Gosh. It's a nice dog you have. It's not a bad looking dog you have either, Sonny. Doesn't seem too friendly. He's trained to be wary of strangers. But once he gets to know you better, he's quite sociable. What's his name? Deputy. Well, what does he do? <laughs> you want to know everything, don't you? Well, um, he's my partner. Helps me keep the peace. Does he fight? And how, when he has to. He could tear a man to pieces. Gosh. Feeling, Slater? All right. I'm all right, Sheriff. Oh, that's good. To make you feel even better, we caught your man just inside the county line. Got a full confession. That's good work, Sheriff. Where's my dog? Well, now don't you start worrying. Anything wrong? Well, he got knocked around quite a bit. Where is he? We don't know exactly. We've got to find him. How bad is he? Pretty bad. And the prowl? He attacked a boy who was out hunting rabbits. He wouldn't do a thing like that unless provoked. Might have been the sight of a firearm. That could very well be. Luckily, the boy's father drove him off. But suppose he attacked somebody else. That's what worries me. I know why you came here, Sheriff. You got a job to do just like me. Thanks for making it easier, Slater. We've got to bring that dog in one way or another. Come here, Timmy. Sit down, huh? Where are you going, Dad? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about, Timmy. The sheriff's called out a posse. We're, uh, we're going out to get a dog that's turned vicious, a police dog. I saw a police dog. He was with an officer. That's the one. He's already attacked Jim Hodges. Golly, why would he do a thing like that? Well, they were in an accident, and the officer's in the hospital. Well, we've got to go out and get his dog before he attacks somebody else. Now, I want you and Lassie to stay here in the house while we're gone. Understand? Inside. Yes, Dad. Ready, Ruth? Here in a minute. 
You stay here with Timmy. Inside. Now dear, I promised to go to this meeting in town. And when I get back, I want you to have all your homework done. All right? Sure, Mom. Here's your sandwich. Mom, what do you think they'll do to that poor dog? I don't know, dear. Do you think they'll kill him? I'm coming! I'm sure they'll try not to. We'll talk about it when I get back. Bye. Is that her boy? 
I'll make a bandage for you. Easy, boy. According to my reports, that dog was last seen there. That's about a mile and a quarter from where we are. Sheriff. It was Jim Hodges. Hey, Jim! Hi, Sheriff. What are you looking for? I'm looking for that killer dog. Does your father know about this? No, sir. I didn't think so. I don't want a kid like you sneaking around with a loaded rifle. Somebody might get hurt. But that dog attacked me. The animal doesn't know what it's doing right now, Jim. It needs help, not a bullet. Well, how are you going to help a mad dog, Mr. Martin? I don't know, but we're going to try. Hold it. We haven't got any time for arguments. Jim, you go that way. Home. And that means home. Yes, sir. There, Deputy. It's good as new. Come on, let's go home. Don't worry, it's okay. Come on. He'll be along in a minute. Scare you, kid? Where's Lassie? Why? I could use her. Help me hunt down that mad dog. Why don't you let the posse find him? Gotta settle a score, that's why. I've been that way. Well, why don't you look that way? <coughs> Let's find out what that dog's doing in there. Well, um, it's just a dog. Why waste your time on any old dog? Want to be sure, that's why. Jim, you'll never find that dog. Leave that to me. <coughs> Just any old dog, huh? <coughs> and what's Lassie doing here? You've been lying, kid. Don't shoot. Can't you see the poor dog's been hurt? I got a cure for him. A bullet. You no, know, wait. I'll get my dad and the sheriff. No, I'm going to settle this myself. Jenny? Uh, have you heard from Timmy again? No, Ruth. 
I talked to him only once. That's when I called you at the school. Well, that's strange. Well, he'll probably show up any minute now. Well, let's hope so. Thank you. They're home with that big dog. Where are they? Oh, over in the East Woods. Well, is Timmy all right? Well, oh, listen, I asked you a question. I want an answer. Well, he was all right when I left him. Why did you leave him? Why did you run away? Well, I got scared. That dog went after me again. Tell me the truth. It was all my fault. I should have left him alone. Look, Paul has a truck. Uh, is it far from here? It's not too far. I'll show you. And Timmy and Lassie are with him. Jim knows where they are. All right, Jimmy, show us. I'll go with you. No, Ruth, please. You wait in the truck. Come on, Jim. You lost your way? We should be there by now. It was here. Are you sure? Well, there's my rifle. Do you know anything about this, Jim? That dog had a bandage on his leg. How did it get on there? Well, come on, let's go. I think he knows. Timmy, we've got to find that police dog. Hank, around that way. Charlie, over there. Dad? Don't let them in, her deputy. Timmy, you stay right here. See if you can get a shot at him. Get over there. Don't let him get away, fellas. Sure glad you folks could come. I owe an awful lot to Timmy and Lassie. They saved my best friend's life. That's 
That's okay, Mr. Slater. You just get well. I'll do my best. I hope to be up and around soon. Oh, it won't be long now. Um, there's uh, somebody else who wants to see you. Really? Now. Hang on. <laughs> Here we go now. Gently. Well. Now. A little further. How's that? There now. See? Down there. <laughs> 